be. Uh, it will work. You look tired. Um, love, you should get some more sleep. Uh, I didn't get in till five. It's kicking off all over the place. I thought you weren't getting involved in fights anymore. When I'm the only doorman who can handle himself. I should put some arnica on it. It's fine. So you're not going in today? Internet's down, so got to work from home again. Right. Cool, cool. Is that a car, Michael? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sorry. I've got a clinic this afternoon. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> Thank you. Please. What? Oh, one of the mothers from Joe's school inviting me to some getting-to-know-you session at some pretentious yummy mummy cafe. That sounds nice. If you like spending your afternoon off with a bunch of bird-brained uber mums tacitly competing over their soya milk frappuccinos. Oh, a bit harsh, isn't it? Oh, you should see the school run. Fleets of teeny women in their massive four-by-fours, drowning in their fake fur gilets, and simply dripping with so much cubic zirconia, it's surprising they can even get out of their cars at all. They certainly can't drive them. What? Oh, why didn't you say something? <laughs> I was going to wait till you'd woken up properly because you know what you're like. Yeah, a mega stud. <laughs> Just put me down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, look, tests, they can give a false positive, so... Oh, you clever, clever girl. <laughs> go, go back to bed, love, because you're going to be really tired. You'll be exhausted tonight. Who cares? This is amazing. We should um, call the doctors, do tests and stuff. No, it's okay. fine. Is the number in your mobile? I won't get seen for days. Vic! Hello? Yeah? Yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend's just found out she's pregnant. <laughs> You're not actually supposed to study on study day. It's just sort of tea you can have with Jolly. Can't all spend our time temping, bowling and brown-nosing Mum's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, there won't be much more of that, since you find out I was fishing about Dad. Yeah, well done, Sherlock. You try if you're so clever. It's not very on Heston. Puts him in an awkward position. <sighs> oh, so it's supposed to just wait for Mum to spill the beans, are we? He could be a murderer or anything. It'll blow our lives apart if you're something really dodgy. Hey, OK, chill out, man. I get the message. So, your last period was? Um, I don't know, six weeks ago. I had a little bit of bleeding, but I just presumed it was the menopause. Your first pregnancy in your mid-40s. That's got to be a bit of a surprise. Understatement of the year. Hmm. So, a uh, bit of bleeding, spotting, that's not uncommon in an early pregnancy. But we'll keep a little eye on it, given that you're an older preemie. Older preemie? What is this? Planet of the Apes? Sorry, uh, that's the technical term for first-time mums over 35. So, you're sure that we're pregnant? Yeah, uh, tender breasts, morning sickness, two positive tests. Uh, I think it's pretty conclusive. So I'll send you bloods for test and I'll refer you for a 12-week scan. Do you want me to do another stick test, B, in case the ones you bought were, you know, faulty? No, it's all right. Um, I did one about ten days ago and that was positive as well. Oh. Ten days ago and you didn't tell me? I could kill you sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, last period, six weeks ago. Well, it weren't in June. Remember, you had that big one on holiday. Talk about timing. No, the first week in June, that was the last one. But that would make you about 14 weeks. Mm. Best get cracking. Should be popping it out in no time. Well, you're through the first trimester. That's when most miscarriages occur. That You should see a consultant, though. When you're an older mum, there's a, a slightly increased chance of downs or complications. It's complications. That, that's not going to happen, baby. Because we're going to be super careful. 
Have you always been on the small side, B? Oh, she's lost a bit of weight, actually. Yeah, well, I can't eat because I feel so sick. So it's not me putting you off your food then, eh? <laughs> Well, try and eat as uh, healthily as you can, you know, little and often. Keep your good fats up, so that's avocado, oily fish, that sort of thing. No seafood and no unpasteurised stuff. I looked it up. <laughs> well, I'm going to push St Phil's for the consultant's appointment and get you scanned in as soon as possible. So, have you got any questions? OK, any problems, you know where I am. Aye, we do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're really lucky. We only met a couple of years ago, weren't we? B's age, we, uh, we could have only ever dreamed this would happen. But you never thought you'd end up with a thick hole like me, eh? <laughs> it's a miracle. Yeah, yeah, so soon after uh, coming off the pill as well. Sorry, I uh, don't know my own strength. <laughs> yeah, what some men don't. OK, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you out. It's just along here. There you go. Oh. Thanks again. Oh, you're very welcome. Can't wait to meet the little sprog. Gotta start thinking of names, eh? <laughs> so when did you come off the pill? He looks happy. Yeah, yeah, should be. She's 45. <laughs> First? Yeah. <sighs> I'm very lucky. Yeah, she seems more in shock at the moment, though. Mm, well, it does take some getting used to. <laughs> of course. I'll see you later. Give me caffeine, quick. Intravenous or oral? <laughs> Both. Joe keeps waking up obscenely early. Is he excited about school? <laughs> Bouncing off the ceiling. They're very good at drawing in kids these days. I'm very impressed with Shaq and Alia's schooling. He'll do really well. Fingers crossed. I remember my first day at school. Utter trepidation. Really? Book boffin like you? No, it was somewhat portentous. I was bullied for years. I hope the little blighter don't take after you physically. He'll never be able to handle himself in a fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've just got this feeling. It's a boy. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, it's just that you've been a bit funny with me recently. Yeah, well, it's probably hormones. I was a psycho with PMT, so God knows what I'm going to be like with the pregnancy hormones. Right. You said you'd been off a pill for two years. Yeah, I have. So why would the midwife mention it? My age. I've been on it for decades. I thought you said you hadn't been with another bloke for a while before me. <laughs> why are you so possessive? It's got nothing to do with you! Uh, it has if you're keeping things from me. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, B. I'm not thinking straight. I, I haven't slept. B! Have you seen my uh... Lightweight. All these versions of possible dad keep popping into my head. I've been like that for months, years. What's your favourite version? <laughs> Formula One champion. Concert pianist. <laughs> Forklift truck driver. <laughs> I could search on the internet. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, don't be so negative, man. We've got his name and a place of birth and the wedding certificate. Can't be that difficult to find. Find what? Oh. <laughs> My MP3 player. It's in your hand. Yeah. Uh, playing hooky again. So that's where I get it from. Ah, oh, just you try. Now, I've got to get back to the mill. I forgot some notes on a meeting. Mum? Mm hmm What was I like as a baby? Cheeky little handful, like you are now. <laughs> Good job, Alia took after you, then. Yeah. You were both no trouble at all. Making up for it now, though, aren't you? <laughs> right, I will see you later, losers. Could you be more obvious? Well, I'm fed up of all this fighting around. I won't live again. I need to see someone. 
Sister Hanif isn't back until later. No, a proper doctor. Uh, she's a fully qualified midwife. So what, what is it about the word doctor that you don't understand? I understand perfectly, thank you. <clears throat> uh, earliest we have is tomorrow at five. No, it can't be till tomorrow. It has to be now. Dr. Reed, your next patient is cancelled. Would you mind uh, fitting in Miss Ward? I'd be so grateful. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yes, of course. Follow me. Right, have, have a seat. How can I help you? I want an abortion. Right, okay. Um, well, let's have a look. Well, I can see here that Sister Hanif thinks you are 14 weeks, so that leaves you 10 weeks until the legal cut-off point. So I thought doctors weren't supposed to make moral judgments. Well, I, I wasn't making a moral judgment. I'm, I'm simply saying you've got some time, so there's no need to panic. Mm. I'm just panicking. Well, you look rather stressed to me. Well, you would be stressed if, if you wanted to chuck up all the time. Uh, look, of course, this is absolutely your choice, but you have spoken to your partner about this. Yeah, and he's fine with it. Right. And, and if the NHS can't do it now, um, I'm happy to pay for it. How much is it? Well, it can be anywhere between five and nine hundred pounds. And, and um, you can have a general anaesthetic. Usually up to 18 weeks, yes. Good. Look, this is in no way a moral judgment. It's just protocol that I ask. You have considered this matter fully? Yes, 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 yes I have. But I'm not going to change my mind. OK, look, if your decision is the same, OK. But I really would encourage you to take a bit more time and to talk things through again with your partner. Thank you. I just don't know what to do. We changed it just before we came out. She was fed? She's, She's been fed. fed. Right. Well, just check her over. All right, look, let's just get her home and see if she's feeding or... I need to see Dr. Reed. She's on lunch at the moment. What about the others? Afternoon surgery doesn't start until four. There we go. Hi, B. Is that OK? Uh, when will Dr. Reed be back? Is there anything that I can help you with? No, um, I, I need Dr. Reed. Why don't we just go and have a little chat? I'm fine, I'm fine, I will be fine. Hey, come on. Just for five minutes, please. Come on. Why don't you take a seat? I want a termination. And I, I don't want any lectures, any judgments, or any last chance hysteria. I have thought about this a lot, and it, it's the right decision. B, I'm sorry, but this morning, you know, Vic, he seemed very keen. He, he was over the moon, in fact, and I just wonder, is there a reason why you haven't brought him with you? Yeah, just let's all tiptoe round Mr Nice Guy as usual. Because what about my needs? I... Why don't you sit down? I don't want to. OK. B, do you feel pressurised by Vic at all? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I'm, I'm picking up on what you said, you know, about, about tiptoeing around him. Do you, do you sometimes feel a bit bullied by him? <laughs> no. Emotionally, physically? I don't know. I don't I notice you pull away from him, you know, when you were leaving, and... He's a big, strong man. Do you ever feel intimidated by him? How dare you? You're making assumptions about our relationship. So this is totally unprofessional. What kind of place is this? Twice I've come here and I'm asking for a procedure and I'm getting met with arrogance and amateurism. I'm going to make a formal complaint and I'm not coming back here. B. B. Oh, you're here. I don't feel well. Um, I'm going to have a rest. What's this? I don't know. Well, you've been looking at it. 
When you uh, type in maternal issues, all that sort of stuff comes up. So why would you look at it? Please don't be angry. Why? It's what we both want, isn't it? Isn't it? You said I was the love of your life. The only man you ever wanted to have kids with. I'm having second thoughts. About kids? Or me? Made you some tea. Come on, don't sulk. I'm not. Well, you're doing a pretty good impression. Oh, so I'm supposed to think exactly what you tell me now, am I? Talk about being a control freak. I'm not being a control freak. Not much. Oh, we can't look for him. He might be a murderer or something. Well, he might be. Don't be so ridiculous. Seriously, what are the chances of him being a murderer? I just don't understand why you want to rock the boat. Mum's happy, we're happy. Then why can neither of us stop thinking about it then? I bet you know exactly what it looks like in your own head, don't you? <sighs> Look, Mum's not going to like it for whatever reason. But this is our right, Alia. We've got a right to know who our own father is. He's not dead or anything. She would have told us. But what if he is? Exactly. We would have never have known who our own dad is. <sighs> Look, I could start searching without you easy. I don't want to. It's me and you, or nothing. Alia, are you gonna wait another 15 years? Okay then, let's do this. All right, Pilo, I bought these. What are you doing? You're gonna harm the baby! Does everybody ring when we're closed? Because they're checking we are closed. <laughs> Mental health centre, can I? It's Vic Morton. Is the, uh, the midwife lady there? Bee's gone here. Um, could you hang on a minute? Um, it's Vic Morton who's worried about Bee. Oh, thanks, Kat. Hey, Vic, it's Rumour. Um, is Bee OK? No. She was weightlifting, and then she went nuts at me, and now she's having a panic attack. Right, OK, um, you stay with her and you keep her calm and I'll be there as soon as possible. Right, should I, uh, should I do the breathing little paper bag thing? Yeah, um, if she's feeling faint, do. OK, bye. <laughs> hey, come on. Shh. Everything all right? It's B. She's having a panic attack, lifting weight. She really doesn't want this baby, Emma. 18 Marsh Street. 18 Marsh, thanks. Do you want me to come with you? No, yeah, it's fine. It's on my way home. I'll call you if I need you. OK, thanks. Night. OK. Why is it that men never need to make a swift exit unless it's to the pub? I need to rescue Joe from the childminder. Or vice versa. Funny. By the way, they cost a small fortune. How did you cope with Chris? I befriended the other mothers, and then we would take it in turns to do the after-school stint. Friends in the playground. Yes, it can be very useful. Especially for finding out what's going on. What, like who stole whose transformer? No, more which of Joe's friends to invite for a sleepover, which ones are likely to end up on drugs, and most importantly, who's sleeping with the head. If we're talking subterfuge, that's right on my street. Mm. I find befriending the classroom helper the most useful. They can tell you what the teacher really thinks. I've got no problem with recruiting an in-class spy. You'll be head of the governors in no time. B. B, it's rumour from the surgery. Are you OK? B, why don't you come and sit on the sofa and you'll be more comfortable? You seem really anxious. Did you two 
row or anything? A bit. She wanted a termination. She came to see you about it. Is there any reason why she would have changed her mind? Well, I guess we haven't been getting on too well lately. I've not slept for weeks, so I'm moody. But she's even worse, a proper rat bag. Have your fights got heated? Who said anything about fights? I wouldn't hurt a hair on her head if that's what you mean. Oh, I get it. Just because I'm a big bloke, eh? Perhaps you should just leave us alone for a minute, yeah? I do not hit her. Hey, 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 I'm here. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you are so much. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Come on. Come up here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. That's it. Here we go. Just sit down there. That's my girl. That's my girl. I, I, I didn't do anything. It's not you. But she is terrified of something. <laughs> B, are you worried about this baby? Hey? Is it the baby being inside? Is it the birth? Shh. Is the thought of giving birth terrifying you? Every time I think I'm getting somewhere, these sites just want money. And I'm on page 43 of the name search result. Nothing. This site claims to be free. I'm here, Hanif. Hang on. It's searching. 2,485 <gasps> results. USA, Canada, France, Dubai. How are we going to get through all these? Profession. Construction worker. Oh, now he wants me to register. So, register? What if they start sending letters or emails and mum sees? Or just invent a fake name. I'll bet they want money in the end anyway. <sighs> Why could it all just be simple? Fear of childbirth is a well known medical condition. It's called tocophobia. Really? Mm -hmm. So I, I tried to fight it, but. I convinced myself I was all right for five minutes. Then I'd remember, and I just, I want to rip myself out of my body. I can't eat, and I can't sleep, and I'm driving Vic mad. I'm just tossing and turning. But you've been in a state of hyper-arousal since you found out. It's very exhausting, V. Can you think, was there a specific trigger for the phobia? Yeah, I guess, um... My mum had a stillbirth when I was six, and she just started hemorrhaging. Um, red, there was glistening on her skirt and, and dripping, and her crying, and my little sister never arrived. You never told me that. I didn't realise how frightened I was until I became pregnant. I just thought I didn't want to have kids, you know, just never find the one. But you did come off the pill, so, you know, you must have wanted a child. It just seemed right with Vic. I don't know how much he wanted one, so I finally stopped five months ago. Five months? He said two years. I'm sorry. I'd have been so frightened we'd never have had sex. Just... I'm a freak. <sighs> No, you're not. At least you got back in time to stop me hurting the baby. It's going to be all right, isn't it? It's unlikely that you have done any harm. <sighs> I'm so ashamed. Hey, don't be. Yeah, tocophobia, it's, it's much more recognised these days. And with talking therapy, relaxation classes, a, a clear birth plan, even women with the severest form overcome it. What if that don't work? Well, we would refer you to a specialist team. Look, if you really can't go through with this, you don't have to. But if you want to 
give it a try. And I'll hold your hand all the way. No matter how much of a rat bag you are. Hey. I really want to try. I want to have your baby, but I just maybe. Just it's one day at a time. Yeah. You know, no pregnancy is without anxiety. Well, Lord knows I've got two of my own, but please just try, because it really it really is worth it. Yeah. I think I owe you an apology. Yeah. It's understandable. I am a bit of a bruiser, and they all get carried away sometimes. Don't we all? Do you have to do that? Oh, the level six! Do you want to find out or not? Yeah, but how? Come on, we need to be more forensic about this. He worked on building sites, maybe he worked his way up. Foreman, surveyor, engineer. Let's search for professional websites for builders. What about this one? Construction Exchange UK. Emir Hanif. Nothing. What about this one? It's all Pakistan. Well, who's to say it's done in England? Well, I just presume that. Me too, but... What about this one? Professional networking sites for the construction industry in Pakistan. Worth we'll a try. Mir Hanif, bricklaying builder. Do you think that's him? Thinking his name? No way. I'm busy. Can I just say how excited I am to be the winner of the community arts scheme? Do you have any idea how difficult it was to get this project approved? There are people on the arts committee just waiting to stab me in the back. Have you got one of those recordy things? Turn it off. Yeah, but uh... oh, come on. Let's see what happens. Pizzas, puddings, and even ten-pin bowling.